Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at, and I'm warning you now, it's a long one. We're going to look at the book of Job and we're going to look at chapter one and it's going to be lines eight to 22. Oh my goodness. Yes. All right. So the translation that I'm reading says, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He's blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well, then. Everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. One day when Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, A messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby and the Sabians attacked and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Another messenger came and said, The fire of God fell from the heavens and burned up the sheep and the servants and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Another messenger came and said, three raiding parties swept down on your camels and made off with them. I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. Another messenger came and said, your sons and daughters were feasting. Suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house. It collapsed on them and they are dead. And I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. I know that was a lot. It's deep. Consider Job's experiences just in one day and and then look at his experiences over a course of days and weeks, right? Then look at your own. Could you walk in Job's shoes? Could you experience what he did and still never question, doubt, or blame God? Job lost the animals that would provide his family sustenance and keep his land lush and rich. He lost all of his servants except four messengers who came to deliver bad news, each time increasingly more horrific than the last. He lost his sons, daughters, and his brother. He lost his family in one day, yet he got on his knees and prayed to God and praised his holy name. That is a testament to the true faith, devotion, and dedication to servanthood in God's kingdom. 
I pray to one day have the faith that can withstand whatever life brings my way. Until then, I keep having my demonstrations and learning my lessons. Will you join me in prayer? Great. Father, I want to have the faith to know that no matter what happens to me, you will never forsake me or let another power consume me. You will never let me endure more than I can handle. Father, I want the strength and resilience to fall down and get up. I want the strength to look at fear directly and rebuke it plainly without hesitation. I want to stand steadfast in your word and light, knowing that in you I am always protected and loved. You know me, Lord. You know my worth and what I'm made of. Show me the way, Father. In your Son, Jesus' name, I pray to you this day and always. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. Touch someone's heart today. Be a blessing to everyone you encounter. I love you. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.